I've got firepower coming from its uh, built-in weaponry. This is actually a pretty decent airborne assault build. Come on, just let me get this kill. There we go, I got a Titan Slayer. Hey there, it's Big Tony up here at Nat G coming at you with some War Robots action. We're on the Dreadnought, I got on the Dreadnought map. And I've got my new toy. I've got myself the Dagon. Trickster, Tamer, uh, the new Seeker drone, the new Nathan, uh, the new Nathan pilot for it. And Zoo, Zoo, Ooh. Well, guys, I'm going to lay down the brutal hard truth for you guys. Uh, you can have all the new toys in the world, but a stampeding herd of Ochocochis, you are hosed. So uh, I'm just going to retreat, fire what I can do here. But this is, if I can get one of them taken down, I'm going to be very impressed. As you can see, these guys are all coming in. They're running Ochos with uh, higher-end shotgun weapons. And, of course, they're just pounding things out. So I'm going to drop my Ocho out here, and I've got uh, you know some decent decent firepower on here i've got a shy drone so the more damage i do the more uh you know damage resistance i get let's go ahead and fire on these guys a little bit oh my gosh what is that now that's funny you see that right there guys that is a corrupted fafner i was playing against a guy earlier who had a uh, fafner that had the ghost pilot skill couldn't fly anymore, but boy, that thing ran like a ostrich. That thing just ran all over the battlefield and was really, really fast. Of course, it got obliterated after a while, but just a very interesting build. Okay, Savage Ravage. Yep. Yeah, I've played against you before. Yeah, and I'm going to get destroyed. <laughs> Holy mackerel. At least I'm doing some damage. Maybe I can get one of them taken out. Maybe? No, 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 no. Don't, oh, don't switch targets on me. Or may, maybe switch targets. That's... that's I got a nice shot on him right there. Get back on, back on. Eh. Oh, I'm going to get taken out there. Now, I did have the brand new 7 pilot on that particular Ocho right there. And I'm not, I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys. Solo 1v1 and maybe an FFA, the 7 pilot is pretty decent. Now, uh, when I run it in like this, it's not as effective, guys. It's it, it's it gives you some great healing, but it's just not quite the same as our other pilot. So not super impressed with it, but I'm going to have to test it more over the course of this month and see. Let's see if we can get this guy here. Oh, so close. Come on. I was, oh, I was so close to getting that one killed. Okay, now this is my Ophian. I've got, uh, of course, a damper and deceiver on here. And so I can do a little bit of rust, a little bit of DOT. I've got firepower coming from its uh, built-in weaponry. This is actually a pretty decent airborne assault build. Come on, just let me get this kill. There we go, I got a Titan Slayer. Uh, I've already accomplished more than I thought, guys. And a full squad, <laughs> let's be really honest, all the toys in the world are probably not going to save you. It's only if you're lucky enough to land in another squad. Okay, I survived it. I didn't get botted out. I did take one of them down. Just going to take a real quick look at the scorecard real quick. And I think we'll hop into another match. But wow, what a pounder. I did get one, one kill. 3.4 million in damages. And there we go. I had uh, two CM members. And the rest were all Zoo. S rank clan guys. These guys are just beasts all the way around. Alrighty, guys, let's go ahead and hop into it. We are going to uh, drop it here on the castle map. Let's go ahead and throw out uh, the dig on and see what we can do here. Um, for you guys who aren't familiar with uh, the dig on, uh, check the video that I published right before this one. Uh, this one here, uh, it, it, I showcase this particular bot very solidly in that video. And I also go into the hangar and I show you exactly what I'm running on this. So. Uh, if you guys want to see what kind of build I have and how to put this together, go back and check my video right prior to this one. At the end, I'll show you exactly what I got going on there. Okay, let's go ahead and we're just going to kind of fire on the bridge here, see if we can maybe, come on, we got to take something out of here. Now, this is, this isn't a brawler. This is definitely kind of a, an assault kind of support build, I like to call it. It's not a healing bot. This is support in the fact of if you want to you want to brawl, you want someone in front of you with a, as a meat shield, and then you can throw some damage down if you're into heavy brawling. But this does have the firepower where I can do some very interesting stuff. This Lynx thinks he's going to come after me and get me with harpoons. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and tap it. Phase shift, wait for reload. And he's in the open. I got the assist there, but waiting for my reload. That's the same tactic I like to use on the Ochakochi. When they come after me, I go into phase shift, and then I can kind of wait them out till I reload, and then just lay the smack down on them. Okay, there we go. There's that silly scorpion again. He likes to hang under the bridge there. Let's go ahead, and I'm not going to sit there and brawl. Let's go ahead and see if we can't make a move on their beacon up here. Um, definitely, is this oh, right there? There's, a, there's an Aegis shielded bot right there, the Mars. Uh, if you know how to run the Mars, guys, you're going to know how to run this bot. Because you have the same kind of vulnerabilities as that bot right there. So if you're good with the Mars, you're probably going to be pretty good uh, with the Dagon. And of course, if you're really, really good with the Fenrir and you like to brawl, you're probably not going to be as good with the Dagon because it's not a brawler. And I tried to brawl for the center beacon there. A lot of firepower, just not capable of holding that down. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's bring out my uh, Quicksand Ophian. And I've got the Tamer and the Dampers on here. Lots of firepower. Now, this particular one here has two of the Tamers, I believe one of the Dampers. And my other one has two Tamers and one Damper. So one does more DOT effect, one does more rust effect and physical damage. But they both have a combination of it. And then, of course, they, you've got the built-in weaponry on top of that all too when you're in the air so this is actually a very very solid build to put those new weapons on there's a nice kill right there i'm just going to be a little air support i'm just going to kind of hover around there and there's an ocho right there let's go ahead and land down here there's a target right there let's give him a little love give him a little damage a little dot and come on come on come on now you see i have uh, i built this here to be an ophian hunter so I don't have face shift, so I can't really protect myself from those harpoon weapons. But I do have shield breaker on this. Okay, let's go ahead and hop back here. I got him with the DOT effect. I'm actually, uh, I did enough damage not to directly kill him, but the DOT effect got him. So that worked out pretty slick. Uh, <laughs> these new weapons, guys. Uh, definitely, I'm going to give, if you're running them in conjunction, they are definitely a, a very vicious combo. And I would run two of the uh, Rust and Damage ones, like on an Ophian, two of the Rust and Damage and one of the DOT versions of it. I keep getting the names mixed up. So it's like two, I think it's two Dampers and one Tamer. I'd have to, I'd have to look up the specific names again. But two Rust and Damage, one of the uh, DOT is a very, very vicious combo. Now, if you want to do a lot of DOT effect over time and get some kills when you're not necessarily sitting on them, run it the other way. But these weapons are meant to be run in tandem. Now, I can imagine two of each on a Typhon. Ho, 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 ho. That would be a vicious, vicious build. Okay, I'm going to use a little concealment cover here because I don't want to brawl with this guy. I don't have Quantum Raider on this thing. So let's go ahead and get this in the air. But I do have the specialty pilot. When I am in the air, I got Quantum Radar. But on the ground, not going to happen. I'll have a Shield Breaker. All right, let's get that. This is actually holding together pretty good here. We're going to get pounded out here, but um, nice run. Aerial Assault. Ophian, definitely still a very viable bot. Haven't heard anything about the nerf coming for it yet, the nerf -o monster. Uh, it will be coming eventually, but I don't see it right now. Maybe we'll learn something a little bit about that in a test server later on this month. We'll see. Okay, now this is my other Ophian, and this has got the exact opposite Two of the uh, you know opposite style weapons on the bottom and one on the top. This I believe does. I think this has does more physical damage and a little less on the rust on the uh, acid damage. Okay, so we got him with the Ophian. Okay, my MT, MK2 uh, built-in weapon got him. I just kind of want to see what I mean. I'm doing a lot of damage with this thing when I do hit. So I'm guessing this has two of the. Uh, Two of the rust and damage weapons versus two of the uh, DOT style. All right, let's go ahead and hop up here. In fact, we will. We'll, well, at the end, we'll hop into the hangar and we'll take a look at this as well. But let's get this guy a little love. We've got a target right there. We can get rid of him maybe. And oh, I thought for sure I was going to get him. I was just off a little bit. I broke from the target just for a second, and that allowed my uh, buddies in blue to get the dan the kill, and not me. And that's okay. I'm good with that. As long as we get a win, I'm happy. 
Oh, there we go. Let's get up front here to use the quantum radar so we can get in on the Muromits. And kablooey right there. The Ophian weapon actually got the built-in weapon got him. Uh, seriously, in the air. Oh, this is like a... When you're in the air and you have those additional you know, built-in weapons and you got three powerhouse weapons on this, this is like a flying typhon. Holy cow, this thing is just brutal. Okay, let's see here. We got two. There's two of them left, so we're in a good position as long as I don't like go jumping out over and overextend myself or land out in the drink. I'm okay. There we go. Got the rampage. Built-in weapon. Got him again. Okay. I think there's one left. That's it. That's a fun one. Uh, did a little work with the Dagon. Did some work with uh, the Ophian. Ophian is a just a powerhouse build right now, guys. Alrighty, guys, we're in the hangar here. Let's go ahead and take a look here at my Ophians real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and start with my quicksand. I've got two deceivers, one damper. Uh, the damper is the one that does. Uh, this does uh, do. This does the rust effect. This is the one that gives the most damage per hit, guys. This is this is pretty vicious, and I've got one of them on there. Uh, so I've, this one here does more dot effect and a little less on the physical damage, but the built-in weaponry on this really does a good job. So this thing, is, this, this is just going to be a damage inflictor, whether it's DOT, whether it's rust, whether it's physical damage. Uh, it's, just, it's just a really good air support build right here. And I've got the specialty pilot, the Elizabeth Green, as you can see here. Uh, I actually changed up the skills on here. I had, I'd gotten like 15,000 of the Memoriam, so I could kind of, sked, kind of change up my uh, pilot skills a little bit. And I've got Spy for Speed, Roadhog for Speed, Destroyer for Additional Damage, Armor Expert, Bounty Hunter for uh, a little more damage after I get a kill. And it's Emerald Vision. I get Quantum Radar when I'm in flight. So uh, definitely this is a very potent build right here. And as far as modules go, my standard, Repair, Nuclear, Immune. And I run Shield Breaker to hunt other Ophians. And I've got myself an Armadillo drone on here. You can make an argument for many different drones. But I like that one for just, it's one of my favorite drones. So I, I put that on there. Now, this right here, this is my second, my standard Ophium. Now, as you can see right here, I've got two of the dampers. And uh, as far as that goes, you can see 3,000 points per hit. You've got rust effect, which means it's not going to be building back its gray damage. Uh, it's really, really a good way to chew something up. And this is my, this is a pretty potent damage inflictor. And I only have one deceiver, so I'm doing a little bit of DOT. Not a lot, not as much as my other build, but I'm doing some. And, of course, the built-in weaponry is pretty vicious. And uh, thanks to the Stefan Benson pilot, of course, I'm getting a speed increase and damage from the in the built-in weapons. I get damage while in flight. I get a bonus. So this is, this is just another beast build as far as the Ophian goes. So I just thought I'd give you guys a little look at that. Modules, standard. Drone, Armadillo, uh, it's just it's just a fun build to run, guys. Uh, definitely, uh, these are bots that, if you have them, I would say build them up. They're, they're going to be good for a while. Now, you do run the risk, guys. There is the risk that they might out-June those. At some point, they might just nerf the daylights out of them. But for the time being, they're fun to run. Uh, of course, I'm willing to put the investment into it, and I'm willing to take the risk. And if I do, if they do get nerfed, I, I already accept that fact. So I'm not going to be too upset if it does happen. But definitely, at this moment, a potent build. Alrighty, guys, time to bail out here. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications. That way, you know when I'm dropping it. Alrighty, guys, stay safe and healthy. Watch out for each other. I'll catch you on the battlefield.